Okay, thank you very much. It's a pleasure for me to be here today at this amazing conference. I'm sorry I missed yesterday because of the flights and schedules, but I'm really excited about what I've heard today. We am, I become inspired with a lot of ideas, and I saw that everybody has the same problems and the same difficulties and also challenges. So it's really a pleasure to be here. And I'm going to tell you about my experience uh, from the Dita Humanities uh, Spanish Center, the first Dita Humanities Center created in Spain, the Dita Humanities Innovation Lab created that we need. Uh, okay. Um, Lint was created in 2014, and as we were like the, one of the last pre rolls in the scenario, we were we were looking for inspiration on how to create a data humanities center, looking at what, what existed at this moment and CenterNet and International Digital Humanities Center and reports on the United States Digital Humanities uh, Center like the Ion Storage Report and these kind of things to create Lean. It was launched on 30th April, April 2014. And uh, as I told you, inspired by the idea of mixing technologies and data humanities based research, teaching, and engagement and experimentation. And it was uh, supported by the Resurrectorate of Research of our university, UNED, which is the biggest national distant teaching university. So just we do everything online with the learning system. But our university is very old, it's, it's a 40 years old uh, university. And uh, in the creation of the Digital Humanities Center were involved the humanities faculties led by the Faculty of Philology, which I belong to, and also the School of Computer Science, but also with a stronger focus on the library, the Digital Methods uh, Group, which is in Tech Anthem Up, because we have in our university a strong uh, um, financial inv investment in these digital humanities methods to record classes and to create these e-learning systems. <clears throat> So the structure of the Digital Humanities Center was built on four pillars, which I uh, have seen already this morning repeated uh, with the same ideas. The first and probably most important one is the research and innovation pillar, where we have the Digital Humanities uh, Research Project online. But we also give a lot of uh, importance to training, because as in Spain, the teaching structure of academy is very, very well focused in art, uh, humanities, or computer science, but interdisciplinary is very difficult. We feel from the beginning that it was very important to create a tr strong training system in data humanities, and especially in data humanities in Spanish, for the Spanish-speaking community, not only for Spain. I will speak later about that. We have also a strong focus on dissemination and information about data humanities, and we also offer consultancy and technological services for projects that arrive to us and ask for help. So, I will describe each of these four focus very shortly. For research project, we have, uh, in two years, we have developed uh, a lot of stuff. We started with an institutional project because we got funding for the first year of development, which was uh, devoted to link data for research in our university. The vice director has the idea of, I want to know what's going on in the university and I want to link the curricula for the research curricula or for researchers. So we started to use open source sof uh, software to link the data for research in the different databases of the university. And it, uh, Unidata was the first project. Now, we, after two years, we got uh, mm, a lot of uh, activity and great project as this uh, European ERC, which I got for poetry, which is like the biggest project in the Data Humanities Center, because from 2015 to now, the center has run with uh, our own fundraising activities, because the university has funded for the first year, so we don't have like a stable financial support from the institution, but we had developed a strong uh, well, structure for fundraising activities. In the research project that we have, we have a strong focus on poetry project because we started developing this research line and we created like a hub of po small poetry project developed by different people, students and uh, researchers. So this was the first project which was like the core of uh, everything. It was our digital repertoire of medieval Spanish uh, poetry. But we also created in collaboration with, uh, with Argentina and with Caicid uh, this project of dia dialogue, medieval dialogue, which was uh, built also within collaboration with Göttingen, and we used text grid for the, for the presentation. 
And we have also collaboration with the uh, libraries, like this project, which was uh, built by Erasmus student in collaboration with the Royal Library, which was a digital edition from a cancionero, a book song for the Royal Library, which has also parallel with image and text um, edition. We have also library-based project like this uh, Omeka-based uh, hmm, digital libraries. This one is for Clarithia, but we also have another one for maps, which I will show you. But one of our bigger projects was uh, launched uh, in September this year, which was a creation and a virtual research environment. The lab uh, was born with the idea that we needed some kind of infrastructure, some kind of platform to offer research a place to do the research. And it didn't exist for Spanish researchers. And well, we tried to provide researchers and students with these kind of things. The idea was created a virtual research environment, easy to use, and for people that were not very used to work with digital tools. So what we do is like, putting together different pieces of software to create a collaborative workspace in which researchers can register for free, join to a project, and create a project from the beginning to the end and publish it on the same web. So and we have a part devoted to digital edition, where we have a, an installation of XSDV, a TI tagging tool, and a publishing environment. And we have a publication platform with <coughs> Omeka, and we also have a WordPress installation for publishing websites. So. Um, then we started to collaborate with other projects from different areas in our same faculty and also in different parts, like this uh, project of Atlantic cartography de developed by a history group, which came to us ask for, to provide them with uh, technological tools to develop their, their things, and we used to make it again for these kind of things, or this project which is working on translation of literary Spanish works in the 19th century across the world. We also develop different kind of projects uh, related to biographies, with, like this project uh, for studying the Basque country, uh, significant people that work in the beginning of the 20th century. Or this big project, which is a large database of education textbook catalog, which is made in collaboration with the School of Education of UNED, but also with the uh, George Aiken Institute in, uh, in Braunschweig, and now with Latin American digital uh, textbook catalogs in different places. So we have very different focus of research. We are also collaborating with this Roman Writers Project in Spain, for which we developed a, a TI ecosystem for tagging uh, paratexts. And well, this is more or less what we have in terms of research. In the part of training programs, we have started with uh, Digital Humanities Summer School in 2014. We did a general summer school for training people in every aspect for digital humanities. In 2015, we focused on uh, Digital Edition Summer School, and this year we focus on poetry to apply all these technologies. This uh, summer school were related to longer courses that we are offering during the year, which are the uh, three big titles with uh, 30 units, one, one for digital humanities, one for digital editing, and this year we are starting with one of a stylometry in Spanish. But we also have small workshops and seminars which are distributed along the year depending on the interest of the research people and research group and the people who are coming or the situations that we find. So we organize from time to time several seminars and workshops that vary from year to year. For example, I invite you, next week we have uh, this Pelagius event, which is all, uh, about link open data and uh, geographic information system. And if you want to come, we are still on time to do that, so. Okay, in terms of information and dissemination, we have worked a lot too, and we wanted to integrate the Spanish-speaking work with the English-speaking world. So we organized the last two editions of the Day of the Eight, and we combined this bilingual Spanish-English a blogging platform, and it worked very well because we could do like contrastive studies of these kind of things. We organized the second international conference of digital humanities for the Association for Digital Humanities in Spain, and we are also the first clearing knowledge center in collaboration with the Universidad Pompeu Fabra de Barcelona and the EUPF from the País Vasco. And we are also leading the national consortium towards Daria, Spain. Spain is not yet in the area, but we have been working for a year and a half with the ministry, and we hope we will get soon inside there. 
But the collaboration is not uh, only in Europe. We have strong relationship with Latin America because of our language. We speak Spanish, and the situation in Latin America is changing and growing a lot in the last years. From the beginning, Lind has a stronger link with Argentina. So we have like a Argentinian Lind too. And we are developing together some projects. We have created a metadata translation project. We have a translation of Tadira, and we have created a journal and some kind of collaboration for different projects, and also with Mexico. And my last uh, thing is the technological services that we are offering for projects, because one of the situations that uh, came to us from the beginning is our own colleagues coming to us telling, well, I don't have a server, my database has crashed, what can I do with that, can you help me with this, this, and this? So we needed to create a structure to provide people with technological solution for their own projects. And we try to, well, have something as a network with different specialists from each field trying to help everybody to do these kind of things. And so we have, in these two years, developed strong collaboration with this kind of project for which we have provided services. And we have interesting experience with this fashion project, which came to us with a funding project and wanted to create a digital platform for fashion or uh, well, this group of uh, researchers from Columbia University that wanted to have an online course for digital humanities. So we have been pretty open in terms of what we are offering, but our feeling is that there is a lot of things to do and there is a big potential in offering this kind of services for humanities in general. And that's all what I wanted to do. If you have some questions, I'm pretty happy to answer them. And I also have this physical spam for our courses and things. So if you want them, I'm happy to give you. Thank you. OK, thank you. Any question? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. I would like to ask you, do you have also projects with uh, uh, Spanish-speaking uh, citizens of US? Be of USA, because there are a lot of Spanish, Spanish speakers. Spanish has become the second language in the United States, mm -hmm. and probably it will become the first one. And I would like to ask you, do you have any projects with them, or you plan something like this? Yes, actually one of the, this uh, journal that I presented to you is in collaboration with the Columbia University, that the, the, the people that lead this kind of thing is a Hispanic guy, uh, Dominican from origin, and we have also collaboration with Miami University for this reason too. And we are now speaking also with Cuban, North American people that it's also working for American University, but linked to a Spanish speaking world. Yes, there are, there are strong connections. Mm -hmm. Any more questions from audience? Okay, thank you very much.